What's going on guys? I got a pretty cool video for you today. Recently I acquired an Action Man vintage dive tank set and I was looking forward to restoring it. It wasn't complete. It had some damage. So I carved out some time in the shop to put it together and I decided on top of that to create this Frog Man using the set that I acquired. So we're going to go back to the shop and I'm going to show you how I restored this Action Man dive tank set as well as put this Frogman together. What's going on guys? Well today we're going to do a little dive tank restoration and put together kind of a cool little custom scuba diver set for my G.I. Joe Adventure team. I acquired this cool Action Man bottle top dive tank set a while back. I've been meaning to restore it. Right now it's in pieces. The uh, dive gauge is missing, so I'm going to stick build a new one of those. Put new straps on the dive harness rig. Got the little clip that clips it in place as well. I'm going to show you guys how I make my own custom dive belt as well. This one's already done, but I'm going to take some of these dive weights I got from Monkey Depot, some elastic, as well as some brass rings and this cool belt clip from Cotswold, and manufacture one of these for my dive suit, which is, by the way, this cool Harman Customs one-piece dive suit I got from Cotswold. If you're not familiar with the Harman Customs, neoprene dive suits they're pretty cool i have a few different variations this is the only one piece i have and it's it's awesome as far as the tanks go i consider the action man tanks to be the gold standard of all gi joe scuba gear I think that this is the coolest tank setup that was ever made. You know, Action Man did a lot of fantastic sets, but I think this is the best as far as scuba gear. From the cool reuse of the old 60s tubes, extending them out to make them rebreather hoses, to the bottle top dive tank, which is very, very unique. I think it's a great scuba set, and I got it in a lot of damage pieces and I was excited to try to restore it for this this suit specifically I think all the colors and everything will go really well together so we'll pause the video we'll come back and we'll talk about fixing this dive gauge okay welcome back guys so if you're familiar with these action man dive tanks you knew that there was a little dive gauge that sit on top of this portion right here it's broken off which I think is pretty common with a lot of these it was probably fairly fragile so I need to make a new one and I went through and I looked at a lot of the spare plastic and stuff that I have laying around to see what I could kit build and the first thing I tried to do was was make a gauge out of some styrene that didn't work so I rethought it and I took some more styrene this quarter inch rod and this quarter inch tube and then I cut them and fashioned this tiny little gauge it's hard to see here with my goofy hands in the way but you can see it's pretty close to the original I'm gonna have to obviously sand it a little bit and paint it to get it to match kind of how the original one looked and I'll have to drill out a small hole here and then I keep a lot of spare plastic lying around from all different sets. It's one thing I really suggest all you guys do who are out there kit bashing and customizing. I don't throw anything away. If I find broken toys of any kind of manufacturer, I have a giant box of broken toys that I can pull things out of to stick build new pieces and I also use it to kit bash a lot. So I had this plastic piece from a blue box toy set. I have a ton of these, like probably 12 or 13 of them. And these little rods will work out great because if you look at the original 
dive gauge. It's got the, the actual gauge portion, and there's a small black piece of plastic that kind of sits in between the gauge and this part here. So I'm going to drill out a hole in both of these and then mount that so it'll give it a little bit of structural integrity, and it'll look similar to the old one as well. So that's my, my next step in this process. And once I get that mounted, I'll paint this all black, and then paint the inside yellow and it'll look like the original dive gauge, hopefully. But yeah, I would definitely not throw out anything if I were you guys. I don't throw hardly anything out. So we'll go ahead and drill that out and mount it and we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, we're back. And as you can see, I've made the depth gauge or the pressure gauge, I guess. I'm sorry, not depth gauge for you guys out there who are going to correct me. <clears throat> I made the pressure gauge. I drilled a tiny hole in the top to mount it, as well as uh, a tiny hole in here. So I'll just fasten those on, cut this off to fit, put a dab of glue on, and then we'll uh, mount it and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Uh, before I before I move on, I will. His handy dandy utility flags that I made my tent poles out of. I went ahead and fashioned that metal bracket piece that sits on the tank. Like so, if you're familiar with these dive tanks, there's a metal piece that went there. So I like fits like that. And I believe the dive gauge actually, I think it might go through there that small loop on the end, but you'll see when I get it all done. So we'll just go ahead and come back with this mounted on the end. Welcome back guys. So it's all finished, mounted, turned out pretty good. So next thing I'll get it all painted and paint the yellow lens area. Probably clean this tube up a little bit, a little goo gone. And I'll take this metal piece. I mean, what the heck this thing's called, but Take this and clean it up a little bit. Might have to trim a little bit off too on it. Next thing I'm going to do is make the harness for the dive tank rig. I'll use this quarter inch elastic. I know in the original Action Man tanks the elastic was a little thinner, but I like the thicker elastic because I just thinks it. I think it looks better. So that's what I'm going to use. On that, I'm going to hand sew it with a little bit of black thread and a needle. So I'll go ahead and get that done. And uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright guys, so the dive tank rig is sewn. Put it on this spare G.I. Joe mannequin I use for things every once in a while. There you go. I just looked at an old uh, photo and just mimicked it with the new elastic. So that's done and ready to go. So we'll get this all cleaned up, that painted, and we'll come back and we'll put the dive tank all together. All right. While we wait for the gauge to be finished in the paint shop, I said at the beginning, we'll make one of these dive belts. <clears throat> now, I modeled my dive belt buckle off of the underwater demolition set of the Adventure Team. <clears throat> I thought that's a cool buckle, and I've bought some dive sets. I, namely, I bought one from, uh, oh boy, New Creation Studios, I think. They were a little pricey, so I decided to make my own dive belt. I thought I could do one just as good as theirs, and no offense to them. that Their dive belt was just fine. I just decided to make my own. So I found these dive weights off of Monkey Depot, and I've got several of them. So what I did is I checked out Cotswold's wide array of buckles and found this belt buckle here. Got it in brass, and then I use these 
they're not flat washers, obviously. <laughs> I use these uh, these eye rings I get at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can use any size you want. I tend to use a medium size. And what I like to do is uh, take, let me grab one out here and I'll show you. It took me a, a lot of trial and error to kind of figure this out. Well, I'm not going to get these out. I'll show you. I'll just show you the one I've already made. I take those eye rings and I just kind of squish them with a pair of pliers to make them more of an oval shape. And then I sew through and attach them. And the same thing with the belt buckle. I just sew and attach them. Then I thread the dive weights through there and then I can adjust them um, how I like for them to look. It's important, I think, if you're going to do this at home, like if you're going to make your own, I put I put the dive suit on your on your Joe. It's not going to work great here, but we'll I'll just show you just for the sake of showing you. You want to put them on your Joe, so you can kind of get an idea of how much elastic you want to use. So that's how I make my dive belts. I just use the uh, these eye, eye rings I buy at Hobby Lobby, a buckle from Cotswold. I don't know which one it is off the top of my head. You can get on the site and look. They're they're all uh, listed by picture. So um, we'll go ahead and I will make one here real quick. I'll sew it all together and I will show you what it looks like in the end. Okay, so here's the original dive belt I've made, and here is the one I just did. It's a little tighter than the other one, but I think it'll look just fine. These dive weights are kind of a pain in the butt, I will tell you this, they're kind of a pain in the butt when you start trying to thread the elastic through, especially if you're using a, this elastic here that's just, just a little bit wider. Then the openings can be a little tedious, so you just got to have a little patience. But as you can see, we've got the uh, the buckle. Then I took the eye ring and kind of bent it into an oval shape a little bit. And there you go. So this is the dive belt. So we will, uh, sorry, we'll come back and we'll uh, get this guy all assembled up and you can take a look at this uh, refurbished action man dive tanks and dive belt along with the Harmon Customs suit on a sea adventure. Okay, dokie. So here he is guys. This is my completed frog man with my action man restored bottle top dive tanks and newly constructed weight belt. Put the flippers off to the side here. As you can see, I added a knife and scabbard on the side. It's vintage. And this is my sea adventure, probably my best sea adventure. But we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the dive gauge. Got it painted. Looks pretty close to vintage. Works for me. Got it running through the brand new metal piece that I made. I'm not even sure what the heck that thing's called. Somebody out there knows. They could definitely tell me. I'd appreciate it. And the Harman Custom Dive Suit. Tanks turned out great. I really love these dive tanks. I only have one set of them, so this is pretty pretty special to me. The, uh, the Harman Custom Suit with the dive tanks, the black mask, knife and scabbard, black fins, gives it a really really cool I think vintage look kinda of, this is kinda of the look I was going for if you guys watched my Creature of Doom Lagoon video then you saw this dive suit in it and I also forgot to put a weight belt on that guy so he looked kinda of goofy in his dive gear it's one of my few regrets about that short story I did but I really like the way this turned out that's a cool dive set 
excited to add this to my collection. I have a lot of scuba gear. The Sea Adventure is probably my favorite of the adventure team, as I've mentioned many times. Kick those off to the sides. So that's it. I kind of wanted to do this when I first got this Action Man dive tank set. I wanted to do a restoration video for everybody on it because I knew there were some pieces missing and I thought you guys would enjoy it. And I know I've shown my dive weight or my weighted dive belts before too. And I kind of just wanted to give a quick, I guess, tutorial on how I make those as well. So do a closer look of the dive belt. Now this elastic's probably a little too tight on here. I might redo this at some point, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you guys how it works. Uh, but this is a pretty cool looking dive setup. I really like it. I'm happy with it. In the links, in the description, I'll post uh, the Monkey Depot link to the dive weights if it's still available. And I'll also post a link to Cotswold's dive suits, these Harman Custom dive suits. I'm sure they still have them on there. They retail for around, I think, $30 to $40, I think, a piece, which you might think is pretty expensive, but I don't really mind it because it's a really nice custom-made product, and they do a really good job with these dive suits. Like I said, I have a few, and this, this one piece one's my latest one. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing it and sharing it with you. I look forward to any comments or critiques that you guys might have of this or suggestions as well if you've done a similar restore to this or made weighted dive belts. Like and subscribe to the page, guys. Share these videos. I always appreciate the comments. Be sure to hit the notification icon. I still have a lot of uh, videos coming. I think uh, the next one I'm going to try to work on is a guy messaged me wanted to know if I would do a video on how to make a ghillie suit like the ones I showed a few months back and uh, I'm gonna actually do one so I'll probably try to shoot to have it re ready for around April maybe so hope everybody's doing great out there cheers